Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. This vehicle features a 3.6 liter V6 gasoline engine with four wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax. This vehicle has had regular oil changes and it is a Carfax certified one owner vehicle as well. As we come along here to the front, you'll be able to see this vehicle is a sleek velvet red pearl coat with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the front grille as well as down around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at this vehicle's tires and wheels. This vehicle features chrome 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels with black insets and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them. But I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the outside of your mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicator integrated into those. And on the inside on the mirror, you'll be able to see you do have a blind spot indicator that will light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. And I'd also like to mention that these mirrors are heated, which will help to defog them as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. We'll take a look over here at the handle because this vehicle does feature passive keyless entry. Passive keyless entry is really convenient because if your vehicle is locked, you'll be able to get into it without having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. The last thing I would like to mention is up there on the roof, you do have silver roof rails if you ever wanted to transport anything up there. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this vehicle. Here on the inside of this vehicle, you'll be able to see you do have some lovely leather tan upholstery for a nice and easy cleanup after any spills. And like I had mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making their way all up the dashboard, along with some faux dark gray wood trim. I'll just open up the glove box while we're looking over here and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here, you've got green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 7.30 seconds in both your front tires and 6.30 seconds in both your rear tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 11.30 seconds in the front and 7.30 seconds in the rear. So you have a fair ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. You also have the original owner's manual with the purchase of this vehicle. So if you have any questions after you buy, you'll be able to look them up in there. We'll now continue around to take a look at the rear occupant seating. This vehicle can seat a total of five people, but if you see four or less, this middle seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with two cup holders inside it. You also have a power outlet back here, as well as two USB charging ports for these rear occupants, and these rear seats are heated as well. You've also got pockets on the backs of both of those front seats, and down there on the floor, you do have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. We'll take a look over here at the doors because all of the doors do have cup holders in them, as well as powered windows. I'll just close this door, and we'll continue to make our way around to the rear of this vehicle. This vehicle does have a backup camera to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. And I'd also like to point out here along the bumper, you do have rear proximity sensors to go along with that. They will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking, and you also have them in the front. And down there at the very bottom, you'll be able to see you do have a pre-installed tow bar for a trailer hitch hookup or a bike rack, if you're interested in either one of those. I'll just open up the tailgate. And as you'll be able to see, what the push of a button is goes up as it is powered. As you'll be able to see back here, you do have a good amount of space for suitcases, groceries, you name it. And those seats in front do fold down to give you a lot more space if you want to haul some really significant items. You also have several anchor points along the back here if you wanted to strap down those said significant items from shifting around as you drive. I'd also like to mention those seats in front do have top and bottom anchor tether points if you have little ones who need car seats. Right here, you do have a retractable privacy and sun visor. This will protect whatever you put here in this rear space, not only from the sun, but from any curious passerbys who might peek in through the back window. And this very easily comes out as well, just like those seats fold down. Underneath the floorboards, you do have a spare tire if you're ever in a pinch. Here, you'll be able to see that back area with those seats folded down and what it looks like and how much space you really have back here. I'll just put the lift gate back down and we'll continue around now to the driver's side of this vehicle. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience and both of them do come with remote start as well. This SUV does come with powered windows, powered mirrors and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have 10 way powered seating adjustments. So you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back and then four directional lumbar support. 
you also have a telescopic steering wheel, which is also powered, meaning you can push the steering wheel in, out, and up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel, you do have your dashboard backlight controls as well as your headlight controls. The last thing I would like to mention is over here on the door, as this vehicle does come with a memory system for your power seating adjustments, which is really convenient if you have more than one driver. Basically, all you need to do is set your seating adjustments how you like it the first initial time, and from then forward, with the push of a button, they will automatically be set to how you initially set them, keeping you from constantly fiddling with those adjustments. I'll now just get in this vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is a push to start. And now with the engine running and the dashboard lit up, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 57,583 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, because over here you do have their dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Right underneath those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your Bluetooth and call controls, as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have your lane departure warning as well as adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control is really convenient because you can set a certain speed to cruise along the highway at, but if you end up following behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically match their speed. You can also set how far away you want to follow them. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen LED display, and you also have built-in navigation with this vehicle to help prevent you from ever getting lost. I'll just throw this SUV in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. I'd also like to mention that the front passenger seat and front driver's seat are heated, and you also have a heated steering wheel with this vehicle to help prevent you from ever getting cold in the winter. Underneath that touchscreen display, you do have your climate control settings here. A bit farther down, you do have two USB charging ports, an aux cord plug-in, and a power outlet, as well as a small space to put something like your phone. Your main gear shift here, two cup holders, your terrain selector here, as well as four wheel drive shift there, and then your main storage compartment back here. We'll take a look up because you do have a built in garage door opener with this vehicle. And lastly, you do have a dual pane panoramic sunroof with this vehicle as well to really enjoy those sunny summer days. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to make the purchasing process as straightforward and transparent as we possibly can. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections, and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, I do notice you have a faint stain right here on that black plastic of the dashboard. But other than that, nothing is really standing out to me. So move along to the outside of this vehicle. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. Starting by coming along here to the front of this vehicle. Here along the front, you do have several small stains and small nicks, most likely from stone chips or whatever this vehicle encountered on the road as it was coming to our dealership. The only way you can really prevent getting these is just by not driving the vehicle. Most every vehicle has some form of these. A scratch there. We'll come along here to the passenger side. We've got a nick there. some faint scratches on that rear passenger door. We'll come along here to the rear. You do have a small scuff there. Typically, where I often see several scratches and nicks is where the tailgate meets the bumper as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And that is the case for this SUV. You do have some scratching here on this tan plastic and a little bit here on the left side of that rear area as well. Down 
here you do have a chrome and black guard along this bumper so that is helping to protect it against several of those nicks but you do have them back here as well i'll just put the tailgate down and we'll continue around to the driver's side the nick there A scratch there on that chrome rear driver's side handle. Some small nicks in the back of that mirror cap. And we're back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a red mid-size SUV with the ability to seat five, fold-down seats with a good amount of space in the rear, a backup camera, front and rear proximity sensors, a retractable privacy and sun visor, passive keyless entry, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, fog lights, a rear power lift gate, a pre-installed tow bar, remote start, heated mirrors, carpeted floor mats, a built-in garage door opener, built-in navigation, heated front and rear seats and a heated steering wheel, silver roof rails, a dual pane panoramic sunroof, and four-wheel drive. This is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518. Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this mid-size SUV and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.